we begin with a dated scene of the poly tank located on the rooftop water is pumped into the poly tank from the borehole in the backyard water is supplied from the tank into the house at this time the poly tank is surrounded by stacks of hollow blocks manufactured for rooftop construction let's rewind let's go back in time in this video we will review plumbing work that is completed prior to casting of the first floor slab using oogie blocks we will also go downstairs to the guest bathroom to review pipes that have already been installed Greetings, this is Ayivi. Thank you for watching. Anytime during this video, if you like what you see, kindly give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Drop us a comment. And if you've not already subscribed, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Go ahead. Click the subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell so that anytime a new video is uploaded, you will be notified. Kindly share this video with family and friends. Thank you. The plumber is pointing at a gray PVC drainage pipe. This pipe is to channel rainwater from the rooftop to the ground. We are on the first floor of what is a two-story building. So rainwater from up above will be channeled through these pipes on the perimeter to the ground. Next, let's head down to the guest bedroom. We will take a look at pipes that have been installed in the bathroom. So, what do we have in this bathroom? We first have the grey drainage pipe for wastewater from the shower stall. Then we see drainage pipe for the toilet. Then we have the black pressure pipe. This is for the supply of water from the poly tank on the rooftop. And then finally, we have the drainage pipe for waste water from the sink. There you have it, folks. The guest bathroom downstairs. Let's head back upstairs 
let's take a close look at work completed in the bathrooms upstairs. To conclude, let's take a look at the pipes that have been laid in the bathrooms upstairs. We will begin with the master bathroom. Beginning with the gray wastewater pipes. The first is for wastewater from the toilet. The second is for wastewater from the bathtub. The third is for wastewater from the shower stall. And finally, wastewater from the sink. The taller of the two pipes in view running through the main wall is for rainwater drainage from the rooftop. for the sink and now the pressure pipe bringing fresh water supply to the master bathroom. Now let's take a look at the second bathroom. We begin with the pipe, the gray drainage pipe for the sink. Next, we have the toilet drainage pipe, followed by the drainage pipe for the shower stall. There you have the black pressure pipe to furnish fresh water to the bathroom. Next to it is the great tall pipe that is for drainage of rainwater from the roof pipe. The opening that you see below the pipes will be closed by the form worker when the plumber is done. Now let's see what we have in the third bathroom. We begin with the drainage pipe for the sink, followed by the drainage pipe for the toilet, and finally the drainage pipe for the shower stall. Next to it is the black pressure pipe to furnish fresh water into that bathroom. Thank you. 